Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another haul from Waxidents and I do really enjoy Amanda's wax. Amanda is the owner. I think her wax is really good. I think her stuff throws for me. I think she's pretty underrated in my opinion and it's just overall very good quality wax. Um, what else? Yeah, so they were having a sale in late October and I'm just now getting around to filming this video and I just wanted to show you guys what I got. I wanted to play, make some customs as well as try some of her custom blends or the, her own blends I should say. So yeah, so let's just get started. Oh, another thing I wanted to note was that I placed my order Okay, I don't remember when I placed my order, but basically my order shipped, but I think my package got lost for a little bit. Um, no fault to Amanda, of course. It was the post office, um, and I don't know, I think my package, which would normally take two to three days, it took maybe like a week and a half. So um, some of the items are pretty smudged, um, so if that's why or if you're wondering why they look so smudged it's probably because it was in transit for so long i am not like a super fussy customer so i don't really mind smudgy bags of course it'll be better if it was you know cleaner so it's easier to see the wax melts but i personally i'm not like like i wouldn't make the biggest deal out of smudgy bags so i just wanted to let you guys know that so yeah so let's just get started so the first sample she gave me looks like this and it's in a cute little thank you bar so cute and this scent is in Aladdin's Wish um, scent notes are crisp orange sweet spicy oops I switched that around spicy sweet bergamot tea leaves geranium and sultry violet this sounds really interesting I've never had a blend like this and also another thing is that I love Amanda's labels they have everything you ever need on there there's the website the pour date the um the scent the scent notes just overall just very good so yeah let me just smell this oh mm. this is really nice mm. so i smell a lot of that tea scent it smells like a almost smells like a earl grey tea almost um and it has that bergamot to it and that like slight floral notes from the geranium and the sultry violet i don't smell much orange which i don't mind but um yeah this is a really nice scent this is something that i probably would have never picked up myself but i am pleasantly surprised by it on cold um i as you can see here this is the pour date i personally like to cure Amanda's wax for at least a month. I think the cure time really does make a difference. Um, on her website she says if it smells good to your nose you can probably melt it but I just like to cure my stuff but yeah yeah so that is Aladdin's Wish. Okay. The next sample I have here is in Persephone, Persephone and this scent is Lord of Misrule type, mahogany, coconut, and vanillary type. I don't know what vanillary type is or what type it is of, but yeah. And this is in a cute little dinosaur, as you can see here. Hmm. Yeah, I smell mainly a lot of that mahogany, coconut, and the vanillary type. It smells like a very creamy vanilla mahogany scent. Um, I don't smell much of the Lord of Misrule. Maybe a little bit has been like, I don't know, blended really well together. But overall, I smell a lot of that mahogany, coconut, and vanillary type. Okay. The next one I have here is in Perfect Fall. So, scent notes are pumpkin cheesecake, caramel, and eggnog. And it's another cute little dinosaur shape. As you can see here. Mm. yeah this is a really sweet scent so this uh is a very sweet fall scent i smell that pumpkin cheesecake as well as that eggnog the caramel note is not super strong in there uh which i'm glad i don't like a super strong caramel note but yeah a pumpkin cheesecake eggnog scent so perfect for fall or even winter too i feel like but yes Okay, so let's just get started into some of the things that I ordered. So uh, I'll start with all the snap bars that I got. So the first 
first snap bar I have here, and this is what her snap bars look like. They are the perfect, you know, just super easy to snap apart, and I love that. So this one is in Melanade Fizz. Um, so I, you have the option of naming your creations or your customs, but I usually don't because, I don't know, I want to... It's just easier for me to keep track of what is already a blend from her website and what is my own blend, I suppose. But yeah, this one... Um, is in Melon Fizz, which is watermelon or watermelon Jolly Rancher type and Fizzy Pop. But I decided to mix that with lemonade because I love lemonade too, and I just wanted to create a blend with everything that I liked. And I noticed that Amanda um, named it herself for me instead of Melon Fizz. She turned it into Melonade Fizz, so that was cute. Thank you, Amanda. But yes, this is what it looks like. Hmm. Yeah, that's amazing. Wow. So, uh, I already love her Melon Fizz. It's probably one of my favorite scents from her. And mixed with that lemonade, it is just your lemon. It just makes the Fizzy Pop more lemony, if that makes sense. It's an amped up lemon with that artificial Jolly Rancher watermelon scent. I love this. This is excellent. Can't wait to melt that. Perfect for the summer. I'm a big summer. Uh, scent kind of gal, so that's probably why I have so many summer scents, but moving on to the next one So this is another custom that I made which is pink sugar type fruit loops fruity pebbles and whipped cream And it's in another one of her little snap bar shapes Mmm yeah, that's excellent. That is amazing. So it is basically your typical pink sugar, Fruit Loops, Fruity Pebble scent. It is just so delightful. I mean, I've gotten like pink sugar and Fruit Loops scents before and I love it. Um, there's something about mixing that pink sugar with a Fruit Loops that really just takes it to another level in my opinion. So yeah, I can't wait to melt this. I love this. The next one I have here is in Lord of Misrule type, and most people already know what Lord of Misrule smells like. Um, scent notes here, it says crisp orange notes followed with sweet syrup and peppercorns on a background of exo exotic patchouli and soothing musk. And here's what it looks like, a really pretty uh, banana yellow color. And it just smells like Lord of Mistral. I really like Lord of Mistral. I found that out and so I just wanted to have more. And I love her wax formula so I wanted to get a Lord of Mistral that I knew would throw. So yeah. The next one I have here is in Mahogany or another custom I made which is Mahogany Teakwood and Mac Apple. I, wanted, I love Mac Apple and I love Mahogany Teakwood both on their own but I wanted to make sort of like a masculine apple kind of scent so this is what I made and here's what it looked like, looks like. Yeah, and that is exactly what it smells like. It is just delicious, crisp mac apple with some masculine notes from the mahogany teakwood. I would say I smell more mac apple than mahogany teakwood, but you can smell it there in the back. So yeah, really nice as well. And I feel like you can melt that kind of scent any time of the year. Okay, so the last one I have here is another custom that I made. Um, if you are new to my channel, you sh um, if there's anything you should know about me is that I love artificial fruity scents, uh, especially candy artificial scents. I love fizzy pop, I love lemonade, I love watermelon, so. Um, but anyways, this is just a custom that just spoke to me. So fizzy pop, Skittles, gummy bears, and green apple Jolly Rancher type. And I love um, this snap bar shape. This is a different snap bar and this is what it looks like. It is different from what the other vendors have in my... I've never seen another vendor have this shape, but I love this. It looks like little pyramids almost, but yeah. Mmm. Yeah, I feel like I mainly smell the gummy bears in here um, with that Skittles, a bit of the Green Jolly, 
Green Jolly, Green Apple Jolly Rancher. I don't smell much Fizzy Pop, um, but of course with Cure Time, um, you know, different scent notes can come out later on or even on more. So yes, but overall I still love that scent. Okay, the next one I have here is um, Grapefruit, Dreamsicle, and Lemonade. I love grapefruit scents. And this is in her round snap bar shape. Another easy um, shape just to break apart and melt. Mmm. That's excellent. Yeah, so... This basically smells like a tartar dreamsicle with lemon, if that makes sense. Dreamsicle is an orange scent, but orange scent, but grapefruit is a very like tart citrus scent and mixed together is just a tartar version of a dreamsicle lemonade scent, I suppose, but I do really like this. Very good. Okay. So let me move on to the next shapes. Give me one second here. Alright. So the next one I have here is, oops, sorry, Spider Venom. Scent notes are Sweet Tarts, Lollipop, Sour Patch Kids, and Fizzy Pop. Now, I already said I love artificial candy scents, so I really wanted to try this. And this is already a, um, a blend that uh, Amanda has on her website. And I got this in a bar tart. This is very pretty. Look at that. I'm going to take it out really quickly, so... This is what it looks like. Very pretty. It's quite chunky. <laughs> Could get quite a few melts out of this. Mmm. Now this smells delightful. Oh my goodness. I really like this. Wow. This might be one of my favorites for my order as well. I mean, I like a lot of these already, but I especially like this one. You can definitely smell that sweet and tart candy, that lollipop. Um, yeah, I don't... It's not super fizzy, but I think it's there in the background. But overall, a lot of that sweet tarts and that lollipop. This is this is so good. If so, if you're into these kinds of scents, this one's excellent. So yes. Okay. The next one I have here is another custom I made, and this is peppermint, lavender, pink sugar type and chamomile. Now I wanted a nice good night kind of blend, something soothing for the evening, but I wanted it a little bit sweet and I just really wanted to make this particular blend. And I love peppermint and lavender and pink sugar, so yeah. Mmm, yeah. And this is excellent. So this is basically a pepperminty, lavender, soothing kind of blend. And that chamomile, chamomile is not a very strong oil, I think it, but it does add a little bit of something um, that's hard to tell, but it, it, it adds a little bit of something in the background. But uh, mixed with that pink sugar, that it really tones down the peppermint so that, so that it's not super sharp. So yeah, I really like this. This is a really nice evening blend, so I cannot wait to melt this. Alright, so moving on. The next one I have here is a scoopable from her. Now I've never tried a scoopable from her, so I wanted to try her scoopable. And this is in the scent Gooey Dinosaur Treats. I have bought this scent before and I really liked it, so I am buying another one. So um, this one, scent notes are Fruit Loops, Rice Krispie Treats, and Captain Crunch Berries. And this is what her scoop bowl looks like inside and um, you can see a lot of the mica has fell in the bo on the bottom that's very pretty but um, yeah I just thought I'd show that mmm yeah and this is exactly what it is it is just a nice sweet cereal blood but it's not overly sweet but it has that cereal kind of sweetness if that makes sense but not an ooey gooey sweet yeah you mainly smell the Fruit Loops and the Captain Crunch Berries Excellent. I love this. So I cannot wait to have more of this. I'll put this. I don't know where to put this. Put this over here. <laughs> okay. So moving on. 
So, um, of course, since you have customs on her website, you can sort of choose what shapes you want. And uh, I just chose a little skeleton shape. I thought this was a really cute shape. So, yeah, this is what it looks like. Let me take it out really quickly. Actually, I'll show you what the scent is first and then take it out. So, this is in Jenny's Blend, which is another um, already, like, already a blend that she has on her website. And scent notes are pomegranate, sage, leaf pineapple and rosemary now that sounded delightful to me so i wanted to give it a try i'm gonna take it out really quickly this is what it looks like very cute Oop, i'm trying not to drop it so yes mm. now i like this as well mm. so this is basically um a nice sort of pineapple scent. I can smell bits of the pomegranate as well. I think I mainly smell the pineapple and some of the pomegranate in the background, but you can smell that sage and that rosemary. It adds sort of like an herbaceous green note to the fruity scent. So that's really nice. I really like this one. Okay, The next one I have here, also in that um, skeleton shape as we saw previously, this was this is just a single oil that she has on her site, which is watermelon, ripe, fresh, sweet watermelon. So yes. Hmm. So this is uh, basically a watermelon scent, but it's not like a candied watermelon. But it's also not um, exactly realistic either i mean watermelon doesn't have much of a scent in real life anyways but this is not super artificial but not super realistic either um in a way it smells like watermelon gum to me which i suppose is sort of like an artificial scent but it's not quite i don't know this one's hard to describe but i do like this scent so yeah i would say it's more realistic than other watermelons that I've um, encountered but it's it's not entirely realistic if that makes sense but yeah I still will enjoy this so watermelon I can mix it with um, the other fizzy scents and that would be really nice too okay so moving on so now I have another custom and this is in Bite Me, which is sort of like a cherry scent, fizzy pop, and blonde moment. Blonde moment is like a berry champagne scent. And this is in her little um, pie slice. Uh, it's very pretty. I'm going to take it out. And this is what her pie slice looks like. Look at that pretty detail. Oops, focus on the focus here. Okay pretty detail on that little cake slice it's two-toned it's like white at the top and uh sort of like a light brown on the bottom but mm. oh yeah that's excellent wow you definitely smell that bite me mixed with that fizzy pop i feel like the fizzy pop and the blonde moment sort of like have blurred together but bite me super strong but i love bite me so that is excellent. I cannot wait to melt that. That is really, really good. So, I love that. Oops. Let's go over here. Okay, so now I'm on to the smaller shapes that I have. So, uh, the first one I have here, which is a, one of Amanda's blends, is called Rainbow Tasting, which is Skittles and Whipped Cream. I got this in her, like, three-pack, like, um, shape small shapes um yeah so there's what they look like yep and it smells like skittles so yeah cannot wait to melt that as well it seems like i sort of have a theme going on for my um haul here but you know you like what you like right <laughs> so the next one i have here is dinosaurs at the beach and this is basically Amanda's version of Beach Nights, and so set notes are s'mores, toasty marshmallow, and salty sea air. And this is in a cute little dinosaur shape, as you can see here. Oh. 
So her beach nights is really, it's on the sweeter side. So that salty sea air is definitely not dominant in this. It is definitely sweet on the s'mores and the toast and mallow kind of scent. So if you like a beach nights that's heavy on the s'mores side, then you would like this one. Okay. The next one I have here is a tiny custom I made in pomegranate, ginger ale, and rosemary. Now this is not my blend. This is a blend that a vendor who has now closed um, made and since I can't get it get that particular scent from that vendor anymore I decided to try it here and see if it was small similar and this is another cute dinosaur shape it's a different one from this one but very cute nonetheless oh yes that is really good so this one is heavy on that ginger ale. I smell bits of the pomegranate in there as, too, as well. I actually think I like this better than the blend from the other vendor because it's stronger in the ginger ale. So yeah, I really, really like this. So I can't wait to enjoy this. Oops. I'll put it this side. Okay, the next one I have here is one of the blends already on her site and this is Fall e Please focus. Why is it focusing over there? Okay. Fall Y'all, which is pumpkin, all right, I can't speak, pumpkin pecan waffle type, sugar cookie, and marshmallow balm. I love pumpkin pecan waffles. I can't speak. Oh my gosh, what a tongue twister. Pumpkin pecan waffles. So yeah, and this smells delicious. So mm, yeah, so it's basically a sweet well if you've tried pumpkin pecan waffles you know what that sort of smells like it's not a super sweet scent but mixed with that sugar cookie and marshmallow bomb it basically smells like a pumpkin pecan waffle with added sweetness basically but yeah I like this okay the next one I have here is a single oil and this is in Persian silk which is pineapple rose lavender lily vanilla cotton candy and amber now I thought this sounded really interesting and I've never seen this particular oil used before so yeah I wanted to try it another cute dinosaur shape by the way Yeah, I really enjoy this as well. This sort of surprised me. Now this smells, um, oh, can I please focus? Okay, this smells like pineapple mixed with some floral notes, but it's not overly floral. It smells like a fresh, clean pineapple scent. I really like this one. So yeah, I think when I finish this, I'm going to get more of this one as well. Okay. The next one I have here is... A single oil, which is white sage and lavender, uh, blends of lavender, oh, sorry, blends of herbs, lavender, and aromatic woods, sage, rosemary, and chamomile. Another soothing blend. I love scents like this, so I decided to get more. Mmm. Wow. Yeah, that is so soothing. This is definitely and herbal lavender mixed with that sage which gives it an extra oomph in that herbal kind of note so yeah I really like this 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 is so soothing I mean even just smelling this in the bag I was like oh, it's perfect for bedtime so yeah I love this one I need more of this <laughs> The next one I have here is another single oil she has, which is in Sun Salutations, Grapefruit, Sweet Oranges, Juicy Pineapple, Mingle with Jasmine and Apricot with a Creamy Vanilla Sandalwood and Musk. Alright, so there's that. Mmm. Wow. Okay, I basically like everything from this order, so, but this is really good. I smell that citrusy notes from that um, grapefruit and that orange scent. Um, there's that tartness from the pineapple, but it is just, has a lot more depth to it from that sandalwood and musk, if that makes sense. I really like this one, so, yes. And so, 
Another one I have here is in Cozy Pink Flannel. This is a blend already on her website. Pink Sugar Type Salty Sea Air and Flannel Sheets. This is in a cute little um, turtle. Let me take that out. That's really cute. <laughs> so, mmm. I definitely smell that salty sea air and that flannel sheets. I don't smell a lot of pink sugar. Maybe just a tad bit, but salty sea air and flannel sheets. That's excellent. I want more of that, actually. After I finish that up, um, I need this in a bigger size because this is not that big. So, yeah, I really like that one. Okay. And the last one I have here is Candy Cane Extra, which is perfect for Christmas. Candy Cane, Creamy Coconut, Fresh Mint, and Hint of Pine. And this is in another um, little turtle shape. Mm. So I wanted to try this because I've never tried a candy cane scent mixed with coconut and I thought that sounded interesting. And I definitely do smell that. So I smell that candy cane. I smell more candy cane than a creamy coconut, but it adds sort of like a nice creamy coconutty scent to it but it has that mint in there as well so this is quite interesting this is sort of like a toned down creamier version of a candy cane so yeah I really like that and so I have uh, two more items left and these are like bath and body kind of products now I never knew that Amanda made um, bath and body items so I just wanted to try it just for you know just just a uh, just out of curiosity sake so yeah so um, as I mentioned before I love melon fizz and so um, you know I wanted to try it in a lotion or body butter form uh, hold on as you can see here so this is the label body butter melon fizz as you can see there and this is a body butter and let me open it up so this is what it looks like um, I guess I'll put it on a little bit on, on my hands so you see here um, this is more of like a lotion to me than a body butter but yeah so uh, I got this in melon fizz as you know this is watermelon jolly rancher type with fizzy pop and I will say I already knew this before going in but um, I had a feeling that you know not all scents translate the same way across different mediums for lack of a better word like something in a lotion could smell totally different in a body spray or in a candle and this is sort of the case here I do smell some of it but I do um, think I smell a little bit of that lotion scent in there so uh, mixed with that melon fizz it's not like like I don't love it kind of thing but I already had that feeling going into here because I knew melon fizz is one of those scents that you know, I doubt would be the same in like body care form. So yeah, so this is okay. I'm gonna use it up of course, but um, yeah, maybe next time I'll try a different oil. So yeah, Melon Fizz. Okay, and the last item I have from her is a sugar scrub and this is in Blue Fizz, which is Blue Raspberry Jolly Rancher type and Fizzy Pop. I love this scent, um, yeah. I need this in wax melt form. That is excellent. Yeah, but very self-explanatory. This is what it looks like. It's like a sugar scrub. Um, so, yeah, I haven't tried this yet. So we'll see. But um, if you're curious, um, she has the ingredients on the back. So this is what is on the back here. Oh, focus, please. Okay, so this, these are the ingredients here if you are curious but yeah the only thing I would suggest is that because this is a bath product the labels are just um, paper it would be nice to have like a waterproof label so that it doesn't come off in the shower when I use it but yeah that's the only thing so that is my whole waxidents order I know I ordered a lot but I think Amanda's wax is good I feel like when I use her wax I don't have to use a lot to get a throw so that's just excellent so I get a lot of bang for my buck and 
overall I just really like Amanda's wax so I highly recommend her she has all the oils in the world she has so many oils so the possibilities are endless so if you're looking for someone to do customs or not even customs just to try out some scents that are always available whether they be summer winter fall you know spring so yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoy and have a good day